Hello, genealogist. This is Craig, and this is Just Genealogy. And I got a request from Linda. Hello, Linda. To put up the Compendium of the Confederate Armies as a set for sale. So the Compendium of Confederate Armies is a companion to Frederick Dyer's book, multi-volume set, two volumes actually, on Union units. So the same kind of thing goes on with these books by Stuart Sifkafis. Sifkafis. I never can pronounce his name right. One day I'll see him again. Last time I saw him, he was in Switzerland, or heard from him. So these cover the Confederate States of America. They cover Mississippi. They cover, for some reason, Florida and Arkansas together, probably because they're so thin that it just worked out that way. Tennessee, South Carolina and Georgia, North Carolina, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, Virginia, and now who did I forget? Well, I forgot Kentucky, Maryland, and Missouri, and the units raised by the Confederate Congress, or raised by the Confederacy itself, not raised by a state, and then the Native American units, uh, largely those out there in Oklahoma. So in using this book, for example, I have an ancestor who served in the 14th Virginia Infantry. So these books are divided, if we look at Virginia, and Virginia is a perfect example. They have the Virginia units, so they have the artillery, the cavalry, and the infantry. And there's an introduction and a bibliography as to where he got all his stuff. And if we go to the 14th Infantry, we see that there is a 14th Virginia Infantry Regiment and that it was organized in state of service 23 May 1861, transferred to the Confederate service 1 July 1861, reorganized on May 6, 1862, surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia on April 9, 1865. And then the first commander was James G. Hodges as colonel, and then there were field officers, and then their names were Evans, Godwin, Poindexter, Poor, Shelton, and White, and Wood over time. And it was assigned, that will then go through a list of assignments, such as the Department of the Peninsula in 61, August Brigade, Department of the Peninsula, also in 61-62, Laws Division, Department of the Peninsula, Armistead's Brigade, April to July 62, Armistead's Brigade uh, in 63, Armistead's Brigade in 63, Armistead's Brigade Pickett's Division, Department of Virginia, North Carolina in 63, then Armistead's Brigade Pickett's Division, Department of Southern Virginia, April to May 63. Then it continues in Pickett's, then Armistead and Barton's Brigade, Pickett's Division, then Barton's Brigade, North Carolina, Barton's Brigade, Department of Richmond, and then Barton Stewart's Brigade, Pickett's Division, 1st Corps, Army of Northern Virginia, at the end of the war. They participated in the following battles, Seven Pines, Seven Days Battles, Malvern Hill, Second Bull Run, South Mountain, Antietam, Shepherdstown, Fredericksburg, the Suffolk Campaign, Edenton Road, Gettysburg, Chester Station, Drury's Bluff, North Anna, Cold Harbor, Petersburg Siege, Five Forks, Slayer's Creek, and then Appomattox Courthouse. So that's the level of detail that you will get with each unit that's in, the, in each compendium. So what I'm going to do, just because I can, if you want to buy an individual book relating to the compendium, in other words, a specific state or any number of them up until less than the set, I will provide a discount of uh, CSA 20 for those. But if you buy the entire set, I will provide you with a 40% discount, CSA 40. So if you want to buy an individual book, one, two, or three, or whatever, it's 20%, CSA 20. 
And if you want to buy the entire set of, I think it's 10 books, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 books, I will sell those to you at a 40% discount. I don't know that you will ever be able to find them at a 40% discount anywhere, except right here on Just Genealogy, because that's what I do. Aren't you glad? So tell your friends. By the way, libraries that want to order these books, libraries can use these discounts from Just Genealogy also. So I'm not picky. I just want to sell books. My, my goal is to sell books. It isn't necessarily to make money. I don't know whether you've noticed that or not. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.